Welcome to another Friday Functions video. In this short video, I want to just show you a little bit more about the attachments control. It's such a popular control being so new that I want to kind of progressively show you some special things. Now, since I've talked about attachments so much this week, I'll do another Friday Functions video over the weekend on a different topic just so that you don't feel overloaded about attachments. So in this video, I just wanted to show you that I have an attachment control on the bottom of this form. And when I'm working with this form, if I run this, I basically go from a gallery on the first page, just zoom out a little bit here. I'm gonna go out from the first page and then I'm going to Go in here and edit, and you can see that I can attach a file. Uh, let's pick. Uh, let's pick another picture file. Like this icon here. Okay, so now I have three files in there, and remember, you have to save for your files to stay, you know, stay put, right? So now I'm going to with that file saved, and now I've selected it as well. I just didn't browse to the page I just made. I'm going to go to this page and I'm going to collect what I what I used in that in that control. So if I hit collect, you'll see that I have set a formula on my collect button that basically says I'd like a collection called my files and I want it to return I want it to collect from browse gallery 1 whatever is selected the attachments display names, okay? So um, just get this out of the way, do a little play, press the button, and you see that the files come up down here. So what I have done here is just set this gallery to that collection. So if you look over here, if I go into the properties, sorry, the properties of this gallery, you'll see that it's connected to that collection called My Files. So this is kind of a cool thing because it really would enable you to do quite a few different things. And so I'm going to leave you with that today. Just an idea that you can put all your attachments into a collection and then any number of exciting things you can do with those attachments. So we'll be talking about that over the next few weeks, but I don't want to overload everybody with attachments. I just wanted to show you how to do that function. Basically, what you are doing is you're doing either browse one selected to get to the attachments, or if you're in a form and you want to do something similar on this screen, you might want to use this item. So for instance, if I go into the on attach function and I made a mistake and clicked on a file and I put that same, so let's put that same formula in there and change it slightly. So I'm gonna go control A to select, well, I'm gonna select all with my hand and then I'm gonna control C and then I'm gonna go back and um, in the on attach, which I didn't talk about yet. Um, you can actually put that same formula. The only difference is I would probably change this to this item. Dot attachments. Dot display name, right? Because I'm inside the form, I can use this item. Here I was outside of the form, so I couldn't use this item. I had to use, because this button is just sitting in space, it's not in a gallery, it's not in a form, I had to specify which item in the gallery, whichever one is selected, and then what properties I want. And if you notice when you're writing these formulas for the attachments, when you hit the dot, I'm just kind of showing you the formula close up, you're going to see attachments at the top, but you're going to need to drill down another level to get to what you want from that attachment. FYI, yes, you can get the absolute, you can get the path to the absolute URI, right? So this is, this is 
you might not realize it yet. Those of you that are experts, you probably do realize this is huge. Being able to take that list of attachments from a list item and have access to it in a collection. Ooh, there's a lot you can do. All right. So that's my little baby tip for this Friday Functions video. In the next Friday Functions video, we're going to talk about something else and not just attachments. So I look forward to talking to you later this weekend so that you'll have two Friday Functions videos this week. Thank you and have a great weekend. Happy power apping.